We left one camp on the Murumbiji River and traveled only around 70 kilometers to another camp on the same river called Sandy Point, adjacent to the rural township of Hay, still in New South Wales. The town of South Hay sits on the southern side of the river, while the main town of Hay is found north of the river. As on most inland rivers, large river gums line both sides of the banks of the river. These trees are also known as widow makers, as they have a habit of dropping limbs without any warning, and it's not uncommon to hear of people being killed by these falling limbs while being camped under the trees for shade. The country is hanging on desperately for the rains to come and renew the countryside. The camping area is quite spread out and is well maintained by the Hayshire Council. A popular spot for travellers and locals alike is the beach located on a bend of the river, and with the temperature today being forecast to hit 39 degrees Celsius, we will probably go in for a swim at this spot. As well as a swimming beach with picnic tables, sun shelters and barbecue facilities, a boat ramp and block of toilets are provided. Water taps with water good enough for clothes washing and showering but not for drinking are also provided. This camping ground is a very popular stopover for fellow travelers. The previous morning we counted 31 rigs camped around us at around 8 a.m. But by around 10 a.m. most had cleared out. While surveying the almost empty campgrounds, we came across this car and caravan combination that must have come in late last night. Unusual to say the least. We positioned ourselves to take advantage of the shade from the tree in the morning while still being able to top up the batteries from our solar panels. In the afternoon the awning provided full shade as the sun tracked overhead towards the western horizon.